Reconstruction is a critical moment, not only politically, but in this sort of creation of an independent black community for the first time. You know, four million people are freed from slavery in the South. There had been a small number of free blacks, but they were very much under the control in many ways of the white population. Now, blacks are able to really lay the foundation of the modern black community. Schools are established for them for the first time. And the black church comes into existence as the major independent institution of black life. There had been kind of secret religious services uh, under slavery. There had been some churches in the South that admitted blacks, but basically under the control of white uh, ministers and trustees. Now blacks withdraw from white churches and they create the independent black church, the African Methodist Episcopal Church in the South, the Baptist churches, etc. These become the focal point of black life, not just religious life, but social life, political life. Many black ministers go into politics, as indeed happens all the way up to the present day. Political organization takes place through churches. The church is linked to the Republican Party and the mobilization of black voters. Just as the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s came out of the churches in the South to begin with, so the political mobilization of blacks in the South in Reconstruction goes hand in hand with the creation of these independent black churches really for the first time in American history.